All right, how's it? So I'm gonna be doing a transition tutorial. I sort of forgot the name of it, Pan. And so what we're gonna start off is we're gonna put in our clips into After Effects, <clears throat> not Premiere. And let's do this first, Fit Comp. Fit Comp. All right, and hold on. I just want to name before and after. So this is basically my two clips that I'm gonna use. Um, the before clip is here, where Kevin's gonna walk with an umbrella, and as he's walking and the umbrella goes through the screen, it's gonna switch into this clip. So basically what you want to do is you're going to overlap the two clips. So you're going to have, this is our transition right here. Yeah. And I'm going to have, I'm going to mark it. Yep. And then, oops. Done. Yeah, wrong video. Huh. All right, and then I'm gonna choose the time in the clip that I want to transition to. So maybe here, right? And then add marker. Um, yeah, and then you're gonna, basically you're gonna overlap this. Hold on, add marker to the actual clip. So you know where it is. All right, so as you can see, I overlapped between the umbrella part and the part I want for the second clip. All right, uh, the next part's actually fairly simple. It just takes a bit of time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the first clip, the before clip, and then you're gonna go press this, the pen tool, yes. And what you're gonna initially do is make a rectangle over the whole clip, okay? And what you're gonna see is that, here, you have to go frame by frame. And what I mean by that is each frame, you're gonna move this pen tool little by little, just enough so that um, as soon as the umbrella passes through, the next clip shows. So also remember that on the first clip, if you wanna use this pen tool, you gotta actually go down to masks and put a time stamp on it, yeah. So as you can see, this is where we're gonna start and through each part, each frame, you're gonna slowly drag this, oops. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Then. And if you need, you could also add more of these um, little markers on the actual mask so that you could have more freedom with moving around the, the mask itself. As you can see, just click on the line, the mask line, and you could add more. So, yes. So in this part, as you can see, there is a lot of space between the umbrella and the um, blank space. So you just have to put it right next to the umbrella, as you can see. Yes, yes.
So yeah, this is a long and quite tedious work, but it's fairly simple. Um, I think just some points is a reminder is to make sure to press the clip that you want to mask or else um, if you don't, it's just going to make a whole new layer that's a separate mask layer. So just be aware of that. But other than that, it should be fairly simple. Uh, yeah, try to get to it as close as possible. Yes. All right, so let me just quickly finish this up. It's almost done. All right, almost done. Oh, let's add one more. Make sure to mask it at the very end, so this next frame, just to mask it all the way out of the actual composition, as you can see. And yeah, so let's look back. Whoops, yeah. And so basically, you see, you could see the masking that's around the first clip and so as we slowly scroll through you see that it's moving yep so if you look at it quick yeah that's basically it it um one thing is the it doesn't look as smooth just because i just did this quickly and um there was one part i messed up with the masking here but because I thought that was the end of the umbrella but I guess there was more to it but yeah other than that it looks perfectly fine um it moves along just as the umbrella is moving through the composition and I mean if what I did also if I wanted to make it a bit more smooth I feathered it a little so you guys can do that as well if you want. Um, here's the feathering. Just make sure to put the timestamp. And yeah, I think you guys can do it now. <laughs> um, oh, another thing. If you want to change the timing of the second clip, you could just drag it however you want because you didn't really edit with the second one. It's only the first that has the actual masking. So. You know, if I want to start a little later, I could do that too. So, yeah. Good luck and have fun. Halsey.